Picture the scenario. You get home from a long day of work, ready to relax. You sit down at your desk, wanting to enjoy some YouTube and eat your wings. And out of nowhere, you're hit with an ad. You brush it off, thinking it'll just be 15 seconds. You become victim of a three minute ad. Fight or flight response is triggered. You panic as you try to find napkins. None are found. Try to get creative doing anything to skip this ad without sauce going everywhere. We all know your gamer gear couldn't clean this mess up. Nothing's working. Then you realize there's only one thing that can be done. Hi, it's Bill here from Reinventing the Wheel, coming out with a brand new Kickstarter project so that this scenario never happens to you. Our engineer used the top of the line AI and computer learning algorithms to make your life better. You might be asking yourself, what does this even do? Our proprietary software automatically moves your mouse and clicks the skip button, leaving you with a more fun and relaxing dinner experience. So we've set up three tiers of purchasing. Our best and most expensive is subscription to the channel. This will come with full access to the software suite and 24-7 customer service from some of our top employees. So thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to hopefully improve your life. How's everybody doing today? My name's Diode, and uh, I hope you like that intro. I'm trying to introduce you to the team. So, as you can see, we're in a new filming area, AKA my room, because I think the audio is a little bit better and you can get more of that cinematic lighting with this and the background lighting. And you can see the cube, cubes back there. Um, so today, as you saw, we're gonna be programming a YouTube ad skipper. Basically, um, we're gonna use Python because that's pretty much the only programming language I know. And so basically the code's going to recognize when there's a skip ad button and it's gonna move the mouse and click. So I don't think that should be too difficult because I know Python's used for a lot of uh, image detection and there's a lot of libraries out there. So uh, we should, should be pretty good. Um, not the best programmer. Uh, I haven't touched Python in about a year, so hopefully I still know how to write a for loop. Let's jump over to the computer. All right, so we're back at the computer and it's time to start this. So like any professional programmer, let's head over to Google. So the base of this project is just gonna be using Python to move the mouse to the designated location where the skip button will be located. So we're gonna to need to find out how to do that in Python and uh, how to do some uh, image recognition to do to find text. All right, so after doing some searching around, I found the libraries that we're gonna to need to use. Um, we're gonna to need to use this Pi Tesseract and some OpenCV to do the screen to text recognition and then using this other library called Pi Auto GUI to do, um, you can take screenshots, you can move the mouse and simulate clicks with just a single line. All right, so let's change directories. And the program was named slash work, so hopefully it does. Checking system specs. Some or all of your system is out of date. Would you like to continue? Warning, running this with parts not updated could damage your system. I'm willing to give it a try.
So we got some good work done last night. Uh, we were able to take some screenshots, move the mouse, and run some initial uh, image recognition software. Or libraries, I mean. And today what we're going to do is try to use the brute force method to zero in on the skip ad. Oh, it worked. Look at that. Uh, all we gotta do is take out the arrow. Wow. That was easy. Oh, there is one more thing we need to do. We need to define our clicks, uh, like the X and Y coordinate of where we're going to click. So, just doing some math here. Uh, five and then, uh, so, Basically, we're just going in between the two values. So, in this case, if we run this, it should come down here and click. It worked. Wow. That's amazing. I'm going to do a quick run through of the final code. And what I ended up doing is defining three different functions. The main function, which has a while loop that's always true, so it'll always keep running. Uh, it first checks for full screen, and then if it is a full screen, and what I end up doing is checking to see if uh, a certain portion of the screen says YouTube. If it does, that means it's not in full screen. If it doesn't say it, it's in full screen. And then so from there, I uh, define where I want to grab my image from and I define my X and Y for the click. And so then that image gets sent into the Pi Tesseract code where it decodes it and creates a string. And we read that string and if it says skip ads, we move the mouse and click the skip. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that was a fun one to make. I haven't done any programming projects in about a year, so it was good to get back into the Python world. Um, I got I got some more projects coming up in the future, and uh, be looking forward to those. So, if you like the video, leave a comment, like, and hopefully you subscribe. And get out there, learn, build, and have fun. Until next time. You know what I was thinking. And you could just use Adblock, but isn't our way more fun?